And all this points to an important aspect and emphasis of discipleship. What does formation look like in this generation? What is Jesus inviting us into in our discipleship? What does it look like to find our way home in this disorienting blizzard? How do we remain tethered to God, tethered to our neighbor, and tethered to ourselves? It's here where we look to the words of Jesus. In John 15, Jesus is giving some final words to his disciples before he heads to the cross. And what we find here is Jesus narrowing down his teaching, narrowing down his dreams, narrowing down his hopes for his disciples. For three years, Jesus taught them about life in the kingdom of God. For three years, Jesus cast out demons. For three years, Jesus healed the sick. For three years, Jesus bore witness to something that was otherworldly. And now Jesus is about to distill, summarize, solidify his three years in one word. John 15, Jesus summarizes everything that he's been saying for three years with his disciples with one word, and that word is abide. Abide. You can't live the Christian life until you abide. We cannot experience what God has for us as sons and daughters unless we abide. We can't witness to his kingdom unless we abide. The word abide is the word meno. And in and, and the, and, and the Gospel of John, it's an important word that comes up over and over and over again. It comes up not five times, not 10 times, not 10 times, not 15, not 20, not 30, not 40, not 50. It comes up 63 times in this Gospel. Over and over, John is letting us know, abide. Jesus is saying, stay with me, dwell with me. And when you look at the range of this word, this is what it means. It means to dwell, to remain, to stay, to continue to be present, to continue in relationship, to tolerate or endure, to wait, to accept, to suffer for, to submit to, to act in accord with, to be faithful to. Let me ask you, do these words describe your relationship with God? Abide in me. 